For example, assume Mary took title to a piece of property as Mary Brown. Later, Mary married and became known as Mary Brown Black. If Mary transfers the title, the deed should include both names to avoid confusion. Named Grantee The deed must identify and name the grantee specifically enough to correctly determine who is the true grantee. Obviously, if no grantee is named, the deed would be invalid. What if the grantor named Bob as the grantee? Simply listing Bob as the grantee is most likely insufficient identification to create a valid deed. The grantor may know which Bob they intended as the grantee, and Bob may know he is the intended grantee. However, the deed is still most likely invalid. If the deed includes multiple grantees, the deed must also designate the ownership rights of the different grantees. For example, if they are to take title as joint tenants with rights of survivorship, the deed must state accordingly. Some states require specific language in order to establish joint tenancy with rights of survivorship. If the deed is transferring a property within such a jurisdiction, the deed must contain the required verbiage. If the grantees wish to take title as tenants in common, the deed must specify the ownership percentage. If the deed does not break down the ownership between the grantees, equal ownership is assumed. However, if the deed identifies four grantees to take title as tenants in common, but does not specify percentage of ownership, each person will own 25%. Recital of Consideration Consideration is the compensation the grantor receives in return for transferring ownership rights to the grantee. Contract law requires consideration to be paid in order for the deed to be a valid contract or agreement. The consideration paid is traditionally the purchase price of the property. However, the consideration need not be monetary. If the ownership rights are being gifted to the grantee, the consideration might be love and affection. Regardless of the form of consideration, it must be listed on the deed. Many states require the purchase price to be listed as consideration on the deed. This means the purchase price is a matter of public record as the deed is recorded and made part of the public record. This is not the case in all states. Some states, including Utah, are non-disclosure states. This means purchase prices are not part of the public record and are therefore not included on the deed. In order to satisfy the consideration requirements for a valid deed, language such as $10 and other good and valuable consideration replaces the actual purchase price. Granting Clause the granting clause is the language which declares the intent of the grantor to transfer interest to the grantee. The granting clause also specifies the type of estate which is being transferred. If Sue wanted to transfer ownership rights for a property, the deed may state something like, I, Sue, convey and warrant to Dave. If Sue just wanted to transfer a life estate based on Dave's life, the deed might state, I, Sue, convey and warrant to Dave for the duration of his life. Remember that a grantor may only transfer what they own. Therefore, if the grantor attempts to transfer something they do not own, the deed will obviously be useless. We will discuss the warranties provided by the grantor later in this chapter. Habendum Clause Habendum is Latin for the... Habendum is Latin for to have and to hold. The clause is used to further define the estate which is being transferred with the granting clause. If more explanation is needed regarding the type of estate or any limits on the estate which are being transferred, a habendum clause must be included. For example, if the estate being transferred is a timeshare estate, 
the habendum clause would contain the specifics regarding the estate being transferred, such as when the grantee has the right to occupy the property. The granting clause may not contain all the details necessary in life estates or other estates with remainder men. The habendum clause would contain these details, clarifying what is being transferred to the grantee from the grantor. Accurate Legal Description In order for the deed to be valid, it must contain a legal description of the property. We discuss valid legal descriptions in another course. The legal description is not the property address, but a description which references government surveys or recorded plat maps.